Welcome to a week in the life of a London South Bank University journalism student. Good morning. I'm getting up way earlier than I'd like to, but it's a Monday. We all hate Mondays, so you know what? We're just going to have to get on with it. I just do the basics. I get in the shower, uh, blow dry my hair. I tidy my room because it always seems to get so messy when I'm getting ready. I then eat some breakfast. This morning I had some multigrain rice crispy treats, which are delicious, by the way. I then go through the news as we're going to need this later. I then eventually leave with my flatmate, who I have to drag out of bed. Um, but we only live around two minutes away from uni, so this is really great, especially because it was raining and surrounded by people because there was some sort of fire alarm. So Monday's lecture is actually really important because it kind of sets us up for the rest of the week. Firstly, we rewatch last week's live show and get a bunch of feedback that we can use this week. We then have an editorial meeting and as managing editor, I kind of control this meeting. So I get a bunch of stories from the class and then I have to give these stories out to different groups and these groups must create an article and a VT package for this week's live show. And then that's pretty much it for today. See you tomorrow. Another day of uni means another day of waking up early. So I pretty much follow my same morning routine and head off to uni. Today was also quite good weather, so thank you, England. Today's lecture is quite different from the rest of the week because the other module is cross-platform journalism, whereas this is journalism futures. So it's quite theoretical and we discuss a lot of like emotional journalism, fake news and today post-truth. And that's pretty much it for today. Today is an exciting day because it is the live shows. I follow my exact same routine except I bring a to-go coffee because I will definitely be needing it. Once everyone's arrived and we are all sorted, I quickly make sure that everyone knows their roles for the day. We then move on to the bulletin stories, which tend to be more hard news. After this, we move on to what social media stories we're going to use, which tends to be a lot more of soft news. Um, because it's Halloween soon, we decided to go crazy and decorate. Throughout the day, I make sure to update my live show log, which we must do every week. After this, it's lunchtime, which yummy we go to the student union and we all get burgers so there's some nice time to chill but then it is straight back to get to work once everyone has got back from their break we go straight into another editorial meeting i hand out the running order sheets and make sure everybody has one and then the vm director takes over so she makes sure that everyone knows the running order after the meeting, we all get on with what we have to do and I just walk around and help anyone that kind of needs any help. After this, we go through a quick dry run as we want to make sure everybody feels comfortable with what they're doing. And now it's time to go live. The live show was a success and went a lot better than last week, which we were all very pleased about. We'd usually stay and watch it and kind of talk about all the different editorial issues. However, we have something far more exciting planned for the rest of the day. So after quickly popping home, we meet back at uni and head to Oxford Circus. The reason we have gone to Oxford Circus is because this is home to the BBC Studios. Our university organised an interview for us where we could ask as many questions as we'd like. Um, this was really interesting and we actually learned quite a lot. They also organised tickets for us to watch the one show live. It was really cool because we got to kind of be surrounded by a professional environment and we got to see how they use the cameras and the auto cue and really it was just a great end to the day. Today is another exciting day because it is again a live show, however it is the live show for our radio. 
The radio producer and I hold a meeting where we gather all the different story ideas that everyone has. So unlike yesterday's live show, for radio, we actually get all the stories on the day and we do all the reporting on the day. After getting all the stories, we assign them to people that don't have a role today and they can go out and get an interview or vox pop. I went out with two of the reporters to help them get an interview discussing the fact that Instagram would like to get rid of the plastic um, surgery filters because of mental health reasons. After we did this, we went straight to lunch. Once again, we all got burgers. And yes, they do get boring, but they are just too delicious. My job for Until We Go Live is to make sure the radio producer is happy and has everything she needs. And now it's time for the live radio show. I wish them luck and let them do their thing. After leaving the radio studio, I go back to class and we all listen to the radio show together. After it is finished, our lecturer gives us some feedback. And with this, it's the end of the week. It's been exciting, uh, but it's also been intense, but I've loved it. Hello, my name is Georgina Blackwell, and I'm currently a second year journalism student at London South Bank University. I've created this video to kind of show you what a week in my life at university really looks like. Quite an intense week, as you've probably just seen. We prepare for the live show on Thursday, on the Monday. So yeah, in this really like short amount of time, we have such a lot to prepare. We are put into little groups. So there's the editor who writes the studio introduction and the studio outro, who writes the article and kind of checks over the entire group, makes sure everyone's doing what they need, like what needs to be done and if anyone needs help and that sort of stuff. And then you have the reporter slash researcher who researches all about the topic, you know, gets all the information that we need and is also the person who's behind the camera and doing the reporting. And then you have the cameraman who rents out all the camera kit and then is like handling the camera and filming everything and then lastly you have the picture editor who has to edit all the clips together and actually create the VT. So in the VT what we need is a piece of camera, we need vox pop, expert interview and general views. Um, and a voiceover of course. So obviously there's a lot to do, you know, in, the, in like these short amount of days. And the thing is as well, is you have to like have a good story that's still gonna be relevant on the Thursday. The wider scale, we have roles as well. So we have the editorial team, the production team, the presenting team. This week I was the managing editor. This was a strange role for me. It was something really new because I'm not really used to kind of but not bossing people around but kind of making sure that everyone is listening and you know throws ideas at me like gives me stories and stuff otherwise you know we wouldn't have a show so yeah this was it was quite a scary role to have um but yeah i did enjoy it it was fun like i loved trying new things so i was down for it but it was at the same time it was just a bit it was a bit different for me and a bit hard and I had to like make sure to do it well. What I really, really, really love about this course though is because as I just said, there are there are the three like separate roles and even with the small groups, there are the four different roles and we always get to try all of them. So my week will always look different. Like at one point I'll be part of the presenting team. So I'll be, you know, doing maybe the social media presenting or the sofa presenting or radio presenting. Um, and then at some points I'll be part of the production team. So yeah, I, I get to try out all the different, like all the different kind of, how do you say it, like aspects of journalism. Obviously there are people that kind of know what they want to do. Like even for me, I came to university and I had ideas of what like kind of sector I really wanted to go into. But this course has really like opened my eyes uh, because it's shown me the different areas and it's shown me things that I actually really enjoy that I didn't think I would enjoy as much. So yeah, I really love that and it's super, super hands-on. Like, I feel like if we're kind of just thrown out into the world after uni, we actually have a lot of experience. It's, it's a really exciting week. It's really, really intense. Like you, you don't have much free time during the week. But yeah, it's really worth it and I, I do really enjoy it. And as you can see, like we, we have a great time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.